Hello everybody, my name is Silver Valkyrie and welcome back to Skyrim. It has been a hot minute and for that I apologize profusely. Um, yeah, I've been uh, I've been kind of hard focused on other things as of late. Um, and I, I haven't been very well, I'm still not very well. <laughs> it's, been, it's, been, it's been wild. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so we're back with Skyrim. I've been really excited to get back into this. Um, so I, I've actually already recorded this episode once, but, um, because I've been doing so much PS5 recording, I forgot, uh, to unmute something. So, yeah, we, uh, we've just sort of, it was just a, a, a mute video and uh, I was not happy with that so I've reloaded the save um, and we are going to do something a tiny tiny bit different um, than what I did before and we're going to find Septimus Cygnus um, that's his name isn't it that is his name right I have just made that up so uh, yeah Serana's not going to be happy with us but uh it has to be done. And uh, in, in finding the Elder Scroll, this will assist us in... Um, oh, bunny. Whoa. Oh, piss. This will assist us in uh, being able... Hello. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I don't know they just completely ignore. There we go. Um, it will assist us in being able to kind of carry on with the main story because obviously uh, we need the Elder Scroll uh, for the main storyline. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Don't panic. Serana, you're going to have to come. Let's see. Septimus is this way. Serana! She's not happy. She's not happy. She's absolutely saying, uh, get fricked. I'm not coming. Serana. We're just gonna carry on. We're gonna carry on. Right. So Septimus, according to Urag, what we learned last time, he is out here in the wastes somewhere. Uh, I mean, it's a little bit of a piss take, isn't it? Like, what the hell is he doing? Out is he not absolutely freezing his ass off? Like, genuinely, how is he not like dying? Some horkers there. I don't want to annoy them. You ready to go for a swim, Saran? I saw you T-posing for a sec there. Alright, come on then. Oh god. Like, god, we're not playing on survival mode, eh? Don't get me wrong. I love a bit of survival mode, me. I love it. But, um... It's just, for recording purposes, I think it would just take so long to get anywhere. And obviously, you know, this isn't the only thing I do. <laughs> so, like, I literally don't have time to spend hours and hours um, playing Skyrim. I really wish I did. But uh, I don't. Uh, here we go. His outpost. Hello. Like, is this not freezing? Like, he doesn't even have, like, a fire down here or anything. But I guess igloos are warm, right? Hello. When the top level was built, eh? no more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. Right. Uh, what brings you to this remote place? Ah, the ice entombs the heart. 
the bane of Kagranak and Degothur. Right. To harness it is to know the fundaments. The Dwemer lockbox hides it from me. The Elder Scroll gives insight deeper than the Deep Ones, though, to bring about the opening. You have an Elder Scroll here? I have seen enough to know their fabric, the warp of air, the weft of time. But no, it is not in my possession. Are you all right? Oh, I am well. I will be well. Well to be within the will inside the so world. So I know you think he's creepy, but come on now. So where is the scroll? Here. Well, here as in this plane. Mondas, Tamriel, nearby. Relatively speaking. <laughs> On the cosmological scale, well, it's all nearby. Can you help me get the Elder Scroll or not? One block lifts the other. Septimus will give what you want, but you must bring him something in return. What do you want? You see this masterwork of the Dwemer, deep inside their greatest knowings. Septimus is clever among men, but he is but an idiot child compared to the dullest of the Dwemer. Lucky then they left behind their own way of reading the Elder Scrolls. In the depths of Black Reach, one yet lies. Have you heard of Black Reach? Cast upon where Drimmer City slept, the yearning spire hidden learnings kept. <laughs> where is this Black Reach? Under deep, below the dark, the hidden keep. Tower Mazark. Oftan, the point of puncture, of first entry of the tapping. Delve to its limits, and Black Reach lies just beyond. But not all can enter there. Only Septimus knows the hidden key to loose the lock to jump beneath the deathly rock. How do I get in? Two things I have for you. Two shapes. One edged, one round. The round one for tuning. Dwemer music is soft and subtle, and needed to open their cleverest gates. The edged lexicon for inscribing. To us, a hunk of metal. To the Dwemer, a full library of knowings. But empty. Find Mazark and its sky dome. The machinations there will read the scroll and lay the law upon the cube. Trust Septimus. He knows you can know. Right. <clears throat> uh, also, what's this large cube, my guy? I'll know your lost unknown and rise to your depth. Sure. Right. Well, um, I'll be back soonish. Now the question is here: Do we want to go and do Black Reach now? Is that something we want to do? No. <laughs> I want to put off Dwemer Ruins for as long as I possibly can. <clears throat> and the reason why is because I don't like them. I hate Dwemer Ruins. And I will do everything in my power to not do a Dwemer Ruin. Um, and also, I don't think I'm prepared. I don't, I don't know the best way to deal with like the machines and I know for a fact that there are like the big Dwemer Guardians down there. I don't know what they're called, what are they called? The, the, the big guys. 
I know for a fact there's some of them down there. And Falmer, which we haven't interacted with yet. Not sure. Not sure. Not sure I want to do that. So instead, uh, old Septimus, we're going to, uh, we're going to just vibe. And, uh, we're going to, we're going to do some learning. We're going to do a bit of learning, Serana. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do a bit of learning. And we're going to go and find old, uh, old Tolf there. Outside Starthol to do a bit of learning. can help, even though we are primarily Sword and Shield. Um, we obviously do use summon sometimes, and uh, obviously that's, you know, knowing knowing some sort of magic is good. Uh, that is a bear. It's, it's nice. Yeah. Where's the bear? Oh, there's the bear. He's after a goat. Well, I'll look out the me. Oh god. Oh god, Serana! Serana! I don't think we have the, the armor for this. <laughs> Ice raids. Um, guys, they're up here. The ice raid is here. Oh god! Oh god! Yeah, you get get it, Serana, get it. Get it, Serana. Yeah. Well feel free to kill the beast, Serana, if you if you if you're so well inclined. Right. Uh do I have any different bolts? Because I only have Oh, I do have these, 42. I also have four exploding bolts. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let us resume. Like, we're eventually we're gonna have to do... Uh, we're gonna have to do a Dwemer Ruin. Because the Thieves Guild requires it. Uh, the I'm pretty sure the Companions requires you to do it too. I knew I heard something. Woo! Um, and does that Brotherhood require you to go into a Dwemer ruin? I'm not sure, but the Mages Guild does. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's like a whole, a whole thing. A lot of things require you to go into a Dwemer Ruin. The Ethereal Crown requires us to go into a Dwemer Ruin. It's just a whole lot of Dwemer Ruins. Oh, more Ice Wraiths. Yes, Ron, I get him. <laughs> yeah, 
was it and is it just like a specific way? Why am I running out of healing potions? I've forgotten how to do everything. See, leaving Serana to do it, it's probably just best case scenario really, isn't it? Not another one. Oh, God, she's, she's in there. I hate ice raids. I got one. I genuinely detest ice raids. I don't really know how to deal with them. Let's hope Tolf Deer is here. That would be really nice if he was. In the uh, in the previous attempt at recording this episode, Tolf Deer was nowhere to be found. I had to use the console. Is he here? Oh, hallelujah, he's here. Uh, does that go on Onwind though or not here? So it's just, uh, just us? Yeah, okay. And here we all are. Shall we step inside? <clears throat> What's so important about this place? We're particularly interested in the prevalence of magical seals placed on the tombs here. It's rather unlike anything we've encountered. Uh, what are we looking for? Anything. Anything at all that might be of interest. That's why I adore this location. We have no idea what we're going to find. And if along the way my message about the dangers of magic should happen to sink in for a few seconds. Serana, you are not the teacher. That would be a happy coincidence. Uh, okay, let's go. All right. Please stay close to me while we're inside. It should be safe, but it's always better to be cautious. Just you and me, Berlina, I guess. Oh, and Serana. I don't know where Almond and Jazargo are. Oh, here they are. I find it hard to believe this excavation was known. Out the way. Sothor was one of the earliest Nord settlements. Want to in listen Skyrim. to Tolf there. It was also the largest. Sacked by the elves in the infamous Night of Tears, not much is known about what happened to Sothor. This is an exciting opportunity for us be able to study such an early civilization and the magic things. Well, exciting, are there it? any questions before we begin? Uh, I don't have any more questions. What would you like me to do? Ah, yes. Hmm. Well, why don't you see if you can assist Arniel Gain? He's one of our scholars, here working on cataloging our finds. I expect he'd appreciate some help in locating any additional magical artifacts here in the ruins. Any enchanted items will do. The usefulness of the enchantment is irrelevant. If you find anything, the class can look it over. Now let's see. What shall we have the rest to avoid these types of ruins? All right, we'll have to find. Jazago, shouldn't you be listening to the 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 t tolf there? Guess not. Okay. <clears throat> so Sarto is a pretty uh a pretty uh small dungeon I think a lot of us have done it more than enough times um, I don't necessarily remember which rooms are in Sarthol and like how um, <clears throat> and like you know exactly how long it is but yeah, I can do a pretty good guess 
It's going to take forever to sit through all this. Uh, Tofter sent me to help you. What? Ah, yes. You. I remember you. You're going to help? That's fine. Just... Just don't make a mess of my work. I've only looked through a portion of this section. You, uh... You can look around in the chambers just north of here. Try and be careful, all right? We don't want to damage anything. All right. Uh -huh. So we're going to search for some magical artifacts. And I didn't mean to take that embalming tool. So another enchanted ring. The rings are interesting because they have um, they have a, a health kind of boost. Uh, upgrade to them. Should we put one on? Yeah, increase your health by 20 points. What in the world was that racket? I'm stuck. Everything all right? I'm trapped in here. How in the world did that happen? <clears throat> the way he, the way he says that, it makes me think that he's like, oh, how in the world did that happen? Like, you know, I meant for you to do that. I pulled an amulet off the wall, which is, in hindsight, probably wasn't the best thing to do in an ancient city, whatever the piss this is. Really? <clears throat> Perhaps the amulet is important somehow. Is there some way you can use it? Okay. Use the Sarthor amulet. I remember when I first played this game, I was just pissing about like for so long because I had no, I had no idea what I was doing and I was so confused I was like why the hell isn't this working I'm like you just have to equip the necklace follow Tolf dear right off you go lad I'll get me crossbow out go on off you go well, this is highly unusual. Highly unusual and very, and very interesting. Yes, 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 yes. Very interesting. A little bit faster, please, Tolf, dear. That it, that irks me in a game when the their 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 movement long. speed is not what fast is enough for the player to for them to keep up with the player. Um. Or they're too fast to keep up with the player's walk. Do you know what I mean? Their walk is faster than the player's walk. That really irks me. What are we doing here then? Tough day, what are we doing? Tough, tough day. Oh. Ah! Ah! Hold, mage, and listen mage? well. Know that I say it's holding a crossbow. A chain of events that cannot be stopped. Judgment has not been passed as you had no way of knowing. Judgment will be passed on your actions to come, and how you deal with the dangers ahead of you. This warning is passed to you because the Sijic Order believes in you. You, mage, and you alone have the potential to prevent disaster. Take great care and know that the Order is watching. Look, lad, I don't care about some magey order. I've just also just realized I don't have my helmet on. Um, I don't know what you're going on about. I'm just here to help the college. I, I swear I felt something rather strange just then. What Did just you happened? feel something strange as well, Serana? Some sort of ghost or apparition appeared. It spoke to me. I'm afraid I didn't see anything. Can you tell She's me off. more about what you saw? <laughs> Is there something about danger ahead in the Sigic Order? The Sigic Order? Are you quite sure about that? That's very I'm very odd. sure. And danger ahead? Why, that doesn't make any sense at all. The Sijiks have no connection to these ruins. And no one's seen any of their order in a long time. Perhaps we should take a look inside these coffins. Now, please do be careful. Who knows what we're going to find? All right, then. Where'd you come from? Get it, guys. Nobody panic. No one panic, for I'm here. 
simply fascinating. Simply fascinating, Tov Dozy. I like how you wait for me. That's nice of you, Tov Dear. Right. There. Fascinating. I've never seen anything like this in Nordic ruins before. Why, just look at all these coffins. This bears closer inspection. I'd like to stay a while and examine this. You, however, should press on. See if you can find whatever this vision of yours mentioned. But if it is truly never seen anything like this in Oh, you literally just said that, uh, Tolf dear. That's fine. Um, sorry I shot you also. I, I didn't mean to shoot you, but, uh... Well, you stood right in front of my, my arrow. My, my bolt, so... I don't really know what you expected. Right, let's run up. All uh, right, let's see what we've got in here then. Lots of gubbins. Hello. These cork bob arrows are pretty cool, but like none of the drawer in here can use them. Can you oh. <laughs> She's judging me. She's judging me. Um, the, you know, the funny thing is, I've already recorded this section once, um, which is the funny part. Which is the interesting bit, because I knew that was there. And I decided to walk into it so yeah there's that oh. Who's there? Laugh. I miss I miss That's a white. I need some soup. Do I have soup? Why 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 did I never make any soup? Sorry, sorry. I love how you stuck yourself in that little corner there. Very smart. Very smart. Oh. Oh, those Draugr whites are a bloody pain in the ass, aren't they? I have a trap, Serana, because I just stepped into one that I definitely didn't know was there. Oh, a chest. Eee. I don't need no hide boots. Uh, oh, Serana is with us. I thought her Draugr had just come with us. Oh, 
I need I need to get Lydia back because I need uh to get more souls. Either that or I could just pump uh points into conjuration so that bound weapons do soul gems. Um it would probably help the Serana issue as well if I used a bound weapon instead of instead of Dawnbreaker. And we just uh keep Dawnbreaker around for when we do like tombs. Or fight vampires. Oh, sorry, sir. That was your drawer. Oh, I do apologize. I am sorry. Apologies. Keep a look out on the floor, Serana. Uh, oh, we got a little puzzle. Probably the easiest puzzle in all of Skyrim, this one, because she's just playing match. Match the symbols. The easiest one in the entire game. Although some people might think you might have to do it the opposite way, because it couldn't possibly be this easy. You have to match the opposite ones. But, uh, no, no. Just playing a game of match, matchy, matching. Oh, I see you up there. So uh, that is a that is a death lord up there. Um, just so we're all aware, that is a Draugr death lord. Uh, and you can you saw the spiky bits on his hat. I want to see if I can get like a little a little sneaky shot on, but I don't know where he's gone. Mr. Death Lord, oh there you are, Mr. Death Lord. What if we just now back away? It's gonna hit Serana, isn't it? Oh God! I could do that too. How do? I, oh my God! How do I shout? How do, how do I shout? I've forgotten. I don't know what my button is for shout. Oh dear. Oh. Haha! <laughs> Mine's better than yours! Mine's better than yours! Mine's better than yours! Oh god, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying, I'm dying! Oh god. Oh god. Um... God, help! Oh God! We're okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Right. We're okay, nobody panic. You're alright, Serana. I got him. Her, even. 
Don't worry, Serana. You're okay. You're okay. You're all right. You're all right now. I got you last, don't worry. Although I didn't really do that well, did I? I kind of panicked a bit. That went that went much better the first time I did that, to be honest with you. Um, that went a lot better the first time. I tried to record this before. Um, did not go well this time. <laughs> no. Well, not as well, anyway. Boom! Oh. oh. Sorry. Sorry. Now watch that on the floor. There we go. <clears throat> oh god. Well, considering it was there was a draw or death lord here, I should think. That that's like the kind of the last boss of the dungeon. Obviously, I know there's another boss coming, but uh, right, okay. So, We do this one. Yeah, wahoo! That was not too so bad. All right. Oh, soft there. Oh, I got to stop taking random shit. The apprentice's assistant. Alchemy lab here, that's nice. Tov dare you. Ah, Tov dare! Is that all you've got? Oh, I think that was Saron actually. Sorry, Tov dare. That was, uh, that was my, 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 my lovely companion there who, uh, who poisoned us both. Um, I don't think she's, uh, she's quite used to me yet. Oh. Okay. Oi oi lad. <laughs> I love going into rooms I'm not supposed to be in yet. With free cam. Um, this is how I get my thumbnails. But uh yeah, I just saw this staff and it reminded me of the last time we played Skyrim we did this. Uh Lydia stole this. And I remember because I was looking around for it for like five minutes. I was looking around the room for it and I'm just like, uh, where the hell is the staff? And, um, yeah, Lydia, it was in, and all of a sudden, like, we were, we were doing something else in another dungeon, and all of a sudden, Lydia rocks, pulls out this staff, and it's like, oh, I see. You've got it. That makes a whole lot more sense. Are you ready, Tov, dear? Well, now, would you look at that? I never... Imagined we'd find something like this. Why is this buried so far within Sarthol? This is simply fascinating. Until next time. Do you want to go down? Be prepared to defend yourself. Yep. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Oh my god, he's alive already! He's alive already! Tov dear, hurry up! Oh, I just like completely like... Alright. Oh, 
it's working now, it's working, get him, get him! Oh, he's going to shit on me. He's shitting on me. Shitting on me. So run out. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. This is utterly unique. This is simply fascinating. Oh, my God. Golder amulet fragment. To defend what is this thing? I have no idea. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. The Archmage needs to be informed immediately. He needs to see this for himself. I don't dare leave this unattended. Can you return to the college and inform Savos Aran of this discovery? Please, hurry. Okay. He's like, what are you doing? You're supposed to be informing the, the Archmage. Well, I'm also going to loot this place of all its glory, Tolf dear. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything else here. Well, look, I'll see you, see you in a bit then. Come and see this, Ronna. I don't know if we've, if we've done one of these with you before. But this is a word ball, Serana, and I don't remember if I told you... She's gone again. I don't remember if I told you, Serana, but I am the Dragonborn. And, um... Yeah, this is the word ball. See? I've just sucked up the power to know what it says. Ooh! Oh, I'm carrying too much. Oh dear. Well, maybe I should drop some of the absolute garb I've picked up. I have nine torches for some reason. Right, come on then. <clears throat> Let's leave. Alright! We're back! I don't know where anyone is. I think they've all pissed off back to the college already. Apart from old Tolfdeer, anyway. Right then! Let's go and uh, find the Archmage. Oh, a bit fancy in here, isn't it? Look how fancy this is. I'm just going to do some enchanting on your table, if that's all right, lad. Let's see. Is that it? Level up! Right. Um, more health, please. I think health is a must. Um, I would like to go up this tree so that we can get the soul, soul trap. Um, but it's not super necessary. Um. Uh. Maybe block? What's this? Time slows down if you're blocking. Okay. Maybe heavy armor? Um, 
I think we'll leave the park for now, and I'll, I'll have a, I'll have a good think about it. Anyway, hello, Savos. Well, you are relatively new here, are you not? I have noticed you, but we have not spoken. Nice. Uh, no, we haven't. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am Savos Arin, Archmage of the College of Winterhold. I am quite content to see nearly any aspect of magic explored and investigated here. But I do not and will not approve of any research or experiments that cause purposeful harm to your fellow members of the college. Are we clear? Uh, yeah, of course. I need to speak to you about Sorthol. Ah, please don't tell me that another one of the apprentices has been incinerated. I have enough to deal with right now. No, we th we found something in Sorthol, and Tolfter thinks it's important. Very well. I trust that you wouldn't be here were it not significant. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Tolfdir normally looks after your little group, yes? Since he's apparently occupied, and I will need to see this discovery for myself, I think perhaps you should begin researching the subject. Speak with Urog in the Arcanium. See if he's aware of anything that matches your discovery. And good work. The next time you find yourself exploring Nordic ruins, Perhaps this will be helpful. Thank you. Oh, right. Anyway. Now, if you'll excuse. Me. Serana, I'm. I'm. Serana. 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 Where is she? Serana. There you are. Do you need something? I'll be here. No. Yes. No. Let's go. Oh, what is it? All right, let's see what you have. <clears throat> okay. I need you to hold some stuff for me, Serana. Um, I know you're not going to use it, obviously, which is nice. Um, but I need you to hold this, 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 this. Um, before we start the next episode, I will... Um, uh, I will go and sort of clear out my inventory and head back to Mirror Wash and put some stuff in, um, in like, uh, in like chests and stuff and I'll make sure that, um, <clears throat> I'll make sure that we have like a nice clean inventory. Um, but yeah, so that's going to do for this episode. Um, in the next one, we will go and speak to Urog and uh find out more about this however you know we're not really a mage you know we're not we're not we're not a mage we'll still help them out you know we'll we'll still you know we'll still help them out and you know vibe and you know complete the quest line but we're not really a mage so um you know fern isn't too bothered about uh you know fulfilling her lessons she doesn't really care about this big orb and uh, she's, it's not high on her priority list. So, I think what I will do in between episodes is maybe do a little bit of, uh, well, maybe maybe next episode we'll, we'll do a little detour. And um, because uh, Fern would like a house. I know we have a, like a tower, but, you know, eventually... Eventually, Fern will like a house to call her own, you know, one that, you know, she can she can chill out in and maybe maybe adopt some children, Serana, you know, maybe 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 get married one day. Um, you know, you know how it is. But uh, yeah, I think maybe next time we'll take a break, do that. Maybe do some crafting, some smithing. Because uh, we do need to work on our smithing. I would like some better armor or to be able to upgrade this armor anyway. So, uh, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this episode. If you liked it, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye, friends.